do you have an email, a Gmail address? Almost everybody. If you have a Gmail address, it means you also have a YouTube account. According to Wikipedia in the review, YouTube was created in 2005 by Steve Chef and Javier Karim. Later, in October 2006, Google bought YouTube for $1.6 billion. But this is only our details. You can search them, find them on the internet. Let's talk about who is Mr. Beast. His real name is Jimmy Donaldson and he was born in uh, 7 May 1998, which means that he now has 23 years old. When he had 12, 13 years old, he started to post on the internet uh, videos with him playing games, Minecraft, World of Warcraft, or things like that. He started to have a little bit of views, having uh, subscribers, and he is making, he made for himself a little bit of career, career, a hobby, but it's the beginning of a career, you will see. After a few time, he realized that by posting only games on the internet, he won't have that success that he wanted. He wanted to be the biggest YouTuber in the world. And now he is posting vlogs, jokes, sketches, and things like that. He had a great, great dream, but I want to tell you, nobody supported him. Nobody supported Mr. Beast. Uh, not even his mother, not even his father, not even his friends, not even his family. For example, uh, his mother knew about his passion only after three years uh, of doing that. Years gone by, and soon he started to earn a little bit of money. Not too much, maybe a couple of dollars a month. He was able now to buy himself a microphone for doing vlogs. And he decided that he has to do something different, different in order to be the most successful YouTuber on the earth. This was his goal. This was his dream. Never stop dreaming. He started to come from 1 to 100,000. Then from 1 to 200,000, then making the longest Uber ride in the world, and things like that. And with these challenges, he started to have success on YouTube. And he built for himself a little bit of community. Now, people are commenting, subscribing, and had lots and lots and lots of views. Big success. Now, the companies, the firms, are wanted to collaborate with him by promoting products, services, apps, and things like that. For example, one company offered him $500, $5,000 to promote an app. And he said like that to them, give me 10,000 K and I will give that money to a poor person, to a homeless guy. I don't need it at all. I will donate it. And he did so. Maybe this is the reason why Mr. Beast is so successful. Because when he says he will be, he will do something, he does it. Integrity. Then he started to have more and more success and did the same thing. He gave away 40 cars. He gave away one Lamborghini after a contest. He also bought a private island and guess what? He gave it away after a survival contest or something like that. This guy, this guy is uh, donating everything. People in his branch think about Mr. Beast that he is a genius. He is a genius. Why? Because he was able to break the YouTube algorithm and have such a big success at a such a young, young age, 23 years old. I'm 33, for example. But for those of you that want to have success on YouTube and also earn a little bit of money, I am telling you that it is possible. It won't happen from today to tomorrow, but it is possible. And I will tell you four ways that you can earn money. One, commercials. After you reach my, the milestone in YouTube, after you have 1,000 subscribers, you can put uh, commercials into your video wherever you want. Two, sponsorship. Like I said, companies want to promote products, services.
things and you can earn a little bit of money from that and the last uh, but not the least donation people can donate into a pay Patreon account, into a PayPal account, things like that, because they want to support you, because they want you to help you to grow, because they care about what you are doing. In the end, I want to thank you for listening to this video, and if you want to have fun tonight, subscribe to Mr. Beast, watch his videos, and uh, I'm telling you, he, he did not pay me to do this for him. Thank you. Okay, I am the evaluator for Claudio Philip. So, Claudio, congratulations for your speech. I'm happy to be able to evaluate your second speech, and I'm happy to see that you've decided to deliver mostly the same speech that you've delivered the first time. Only in English this time. So that's a difference, and I believe you've done a good job about it. Um, you had a clear structure, which I uh, appreciated. Uh, it was very easy to follow. Uh, you've grabbed our attention from the beginning. You've asked us if we had a Gmail account. A smart play who does, really, right? So that was the haha, you got the ball. Uh, and then you've told us about YouTube for a bit, and then you started introducing Mr. Beast, who is a very, very big YouTuber. So that was the connection with your uh, beginning of the speech. You've also had good visuals throughout your whole speech. All the uh, slides that you had were very on point, and you also delivered on time whenever you presented. So you never said something and the slide showed something totally different, it was always on point. And it helped you uh, with your ideas. Uh, I didn't feel like the images or the slides stole my attention from you, but they just complemented it. So that was really nice. And I also appreciated the fact that you kept your speech in time, which is something that unfortunately doesn't happen as often as it would like to happen. And I felt like it didn't finish sooner than it needed. I felt it finished in time. These were the three things that I really appreciated about your speech. Now, three other things that I would have liked to see maybe differently about your speech are as follows. Um, you looked to me that you were a bit more focused on delivering your speech, on what you were going to say, than on how you said it. Um, as opposed to last time, when you were a bit more jolly and you kind of were like feeling that, yeah, I'm here, I'm, I'm on it, uh, it felt to me here that you were a bit more be sure to deliver your speech properly, and it lacked that uh, that touch, that uh, your your I don't know, your feelings. Uh, it was a bit monotonous, just a bit. Um, I think that you you could do better because you did better last time in this regard. Um, another thing was that I would have liked to see a, a sort of a hype for the subject uh, in the sense that you introduced the big topic that you are going to talk about, Mr. Beast, mainly uh, rather quickly. In some way, uh, you've introduced us to YouTube and all of that, and then Mr. Beast, he connects to YouTube because of the YouTuber, but I didn't feel that, ooh, what's going to, to happen now, what's he going to talk about? Oh, Mr. Beast, oh, let me tell you something about him. Uh, I would have liked to see a bit more, uh, better introduction to the subject, in a way. And also the ending, uh, as last time, didn't end in a, in a bang, necessarily. Uh, it did end properly and you kind of introduced us more to the idea that let me tell you now what you can do to become a good YouTuber as Mr. Beast is, which uh, was better than now than last time, but it still felt like it ended a bit on a lower note than the rest of your speech until that point. Uh, I would recommend here that you would also maybe ask something towards the end so that you could then present maybe some answers to the public and maybe have their attention a bit more um, than you had it right now. So those were the six main points that I had. Your structure, good visuals, you finished very nicely in time without necessarily feeling that you finished too fast. And as for impro uh, improvement, uh, to write also uh, be a bit more, what's the word here in English, uh, feel more natural when you deliver it and not as focused on delivering, delivering, delivering. And also try to introduce your subject a bit better, grab our attention more from the beginning, and also any in the same way with a uh, better, better bang. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much, Claudio, once again for your speech, and I look forward to giving your next speech, and maybe why not, if I read it as well. Thank you very much. Bine ai venit la finalul clipului și îți mulțumim că ați stat alături de noi. 
și te încurajăm să te abonezi la canalul nostru de YouTube și să ne dai un like la pagina noastră de Facebook. Ne vedem data viitoare!